Hey guys, Corbin here, and this is my art bike project for Burning Man 2023. I was gifted this bike from the Facebook Buy Nothing group, and then I decided I needed to just figure out my overall plan of what I wanted to do. So Burning Man's theme is Animalia, and I wanted to go with an animal theme. I was thinking of fish, and ideally I wanted the head to be the front of the bike and to be unmovable and sort of floating, and the rest of it to be in the back. I used cardboard to kind of lay out some of the ideas, and the proportions really just weren't working out for a fish, but I really liked the scale idea and kind of decided to explore that a bit more. I used some quarter inch plywood to make a platform that would attach around the front of the frame. And at first I cut this plywood out by hand on the bandsaw. I quickly realized that it wasn't quite circular enough for me. So it was time to jump over to the CNC machine. I cut out a few of these circles on the CNC machine. It was quick, super easy to do. My next step was to figure out how to attach it to the bike frame. I decided to squish two pieces of wood along the front fork and screw them together and use that as an attachment point. Once that was on the frame, I could take my piece of plywood, position it where I want, and just screw it directly on. One of my goals with this project was to try and not spend any money, so I grabbed some scrap pieces of wood I had laying around, some old fir and pine that I had milled from uh, previous years and previous projects. I had to just do the typical woodworking dance, joint one edge flat, and then rip some thin sheets off because I decided to go with about quarter inch thick of the scales and plane them down to the appropriate thickness, ripping, cross cutting, doing whatever I needed to get to the rough shape I needed. I designed a basic scale shape in Vectric V-Carve using some vectors and started cutting them out. I cut out literally hundreds of these, and after I cut them, I would snap them in half, get the scale out, and there were tabs that I had put into the piece to make it not fall away when I was cutting on the machine. So I had to just take those over to the sander, sand off the tabs a little bit, and then I had my rough scale that I needed. So at this point, I wanted to experiment with different patterns, and I played around with it until I got something I liked, and then put that set of patterns and scales down on the ground and tried to mimic it by gluing it onto the wheel itself. There's nothing fancy with the gluing, it's just hot glue gun, which worked pretty well. The front scales are a little bit more rounded and that way they would kind of complete the shape. So initially I thought I'd do two circles of the scales, one on the front wheel and one on the back wheel, but I was kind of starting to get concerned about weight and decided to go with a little bit of a simpler approach. And I just made some big scales that I could kind of place and glue on the bike frame itself. And this worked out pretty well. I ended up having quite a few scales left over, and so I just found some creative placements for some of the extras, like along the back fender. Now, of course, Burning Man is basically Blinky Man these days, so I had some extra LEDs laying around from my LED sear wheel project and decided to just glue up some of those along the frame in various locations. So this is it. This is how my art bike turned out. I'm pretty happy with it. I really love the scales in the front of it. I like how they float and don't move with the wheel. And I like the variation in colors from using a lot of different woods. I didn't even put any finish on the wood because I might just end up burning the pieces after we're done with the Burning Man this year and uh, create something new for another year. So thanks everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments.